Hey everybody, I'm Mike Wendland. We are at Loblolly Ridge. That's our property in uh, mid-Tennessee. And uh, Bo and I, that's Bo, have a problem. We aren't on the level. And we would like to be on the level. So we're going to try and fix it. If you have the Lippert 3.0 uh, uh, automatic leveling system, which we have on our fifth wheel, you probably have encountered what we've experienced. You've, you've parked uh, and hooked up and unhooked and you've been on unlevel ground and what happens is kind of the memory on this thing gets a little haywire and it thinks you're level when you're not and that's what's happened to us here in Tennessee uh, so we are going to try and straighten that out uh, I've enlisted the help of uh, one of my neighbors he lives on the other side of the holler back there Brad who is an RV service tech Brad's going to come by and he is going to walk me through how to uh, set this back to zero and really get it level and help that memory not forget it the next time. Hey Mike. Hey Brad. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. I'll show you what I got right. to do here. Well, the most frustrating thing about uh, working with the leveling system is it it never seems to be right yeah. it always seems to be off a little bit and and it is frustrating for people to try and uh, work through uh, leveling you know their their towable and to where they're comfortable in it or when they push the button for auto level it actually auto levels my problem is i've i've leveled it i've parked it in many different spots and some of them have been very level and we've gotten inside of it and we said this isn't right and then we leave the next day and i think it's i think it's lost its memory that's really what it seems like it, it loses its mind and i think most electronic things do lose their mind sometimes and and they need to just be reset so that's what we're going to do today All right, we're going to reset go. it let's go back and do it it's our best solution here it's well, a long unit well, the way it works and the way that they're put together is not everything is put together completely level. So, um, like like in here, you know, the top of your stairs is level, but down here in your main living area, you're not. You're a little bit off. So you almost have to to find the best uh, medium for uh, your living in your RV. So some people like to raise the front. So when their air conditioning's running or if it's raining, you know, the water's gonna run off the back instead of off the sides or, um, so that's just a personal preference. So, uh, you know, what we'll do is we'll get it as close as possible. And when you feel good about it, that's what we'll set. We'll set it at, uh, that'll be your, your zero mark. So I wanna do a retract first. We've retracted all of the, your landing gear, so now we're going to put it into programming mode. So with the, the control system off, you hit the front five times, you hit the rear five times, and it goes into calibration mode. So now we're going to set each one. We're going to level it, and then we're going to check the, um, the levels again that we laid on the floor inside. And then when we're happy with the level, when you're... Uh, to where it wants where you want it to be then we're gonna go ahead and set that as your zero point so every time you come back to it and you hit auto level it'll go to that point even on uneven ground it will so that's how it'll work This pad that I'm parked on is uh, not the most level. In fact, with erosion and stuff, it's become even less level than when we came in. So we had some problems with the, with the rear jacks. Uh, they would be fully extended and couldn't go any further. So what we've done is put these uh, special bucket, uh, I don't know what to call them, they're a bucket extender. And as you can see, you don't have to put the jacks down quite as much. I'll put a link to these buckets in the description below. Uh, we are an Amazon affiliate and we'll, uh, we'll put it there. They are really a big help, particularly when you're on unlevel ground because they will 
prevents your jacks from overextending uh, by raising them up. Plus it gives you uh, a lot of nice support. So now that we have uh, this thing relatively safe, not in danger of twisting or overextending, uh, we're going to go back to the control panel and we are going to do some adjusting on each of the four leveling uh, jacks and see if we can uh, get this thing to have a new memory that's on the level. Okay, so this one, we're not too bad front to back, but we are definitely on that side. Let's see. Got to bring this side up. Did you see your door move? Yeah. <laughs> so that that's telling me we may have went just a little bit over. So so let me check it again. Okay, so we just need to, to bring the left side up just a little bit more. We're really close. Just a little more to do it. And this way. Well, same thing. So I'm going to hit the retract button and I'm going to bring the right side down some. Let's check that. So there, I, I went retract, brought the right side down instead of lifting the left side up some more. Because we, we don't want the tires to be off the ground because that helps with your walking around inside your stabilizing. Okay? So one mistake that a lot of us make, especially me, is uh, we keep raising one side up and that indeed will put the tires up so you can raise one side or lower the other and it kind of does the same thing here we go let's see how this is we still need to go some more mike we got more yeah so i was lowering that side and it told me it can't go any farther so we have to go back to the left side bringing the left side up a little bit more a little bit higher since it's sitting on such an unlevel spot, to manually it it uh, it automatically tells us if we're starting to twist the frame is what it's telling us. So, so this is really hard to do on an uneven surface to get it right. And this surface, it, it may look somewhat flat, but it's not. All right, let's check them now. Oh yeah, that one looks good. That one looks good. I think we got it. We got it. Now we want to tell the controller that this baby is level. Zero point calibration. Press enter to set. So what does this mean now for the next time that I move and set up someplace? So we reset your zero on your, so when you go to auto level the next time and you hit it, it's gonna set your, basically your floor to that zero level. So since we put the levels in there, we manually uh, went through the process to, to level it. Um, what's gonna happen now when you hit auto level is that's what it's going to remember is where we just set it is how it's going to work which is <laughs> level level <laughs> well it's nice to be level <laughs> on the level again i hope that's helpful i think a lot of people who have that leveling system probably encounter what we have you know you've parked at a number of places and somehow uh, it just wasn't level and it seems to get worse every time until you correct it, which we have now done. And uh, it's nice to be on the level. Hey, I'm Mike Wedland. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our RV Lifestyle YouTube channel, please do so. We would really appreciate that. Till next time, we'll see you down the road and happy trails. Mm -hmm.